Developing news now at noon as a new governor takes control on Smith Hill. Dan McKee sworn in last night in a small ceremony at the State House following the resignation of Gina Raimondo, now appointed U.S. Secretary of Commerce. Rhode Island's new chief executive in the middle of a very busy day touring COVID-19 vaccine clinics and much more. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt following the governor and joins us now live in Providence. Brandon. Well, Patrick, it has been a packed start to day one here. I want to take you in live as the governor is meeting with religious leaders here in Providence, talking about vaccine hesitancy and how to build public trust. This event wrapping up right now as he's off to the next. This is just his third stop today, and there are more to come. Just about half an hour ago, the governor visited a small business just right across the street here. McKee has been an advocate for getting more funds out to small businesses faster. Visiting this one was one of his first moves as governor. Governor, but McKee started his day at a vaccination site just up the road here in Providence. This at the John Hope Settlement House. It's a location serving the hardest hit zip codes in Providence. They have expanded eligibility to include those 50 or older. So that's a faster pace than the state timeline. It's because they're a hard hit zone. McKee telling me he sees these hotspot vaccination sites sticking around. And the goal is here that as the vaccine comes in, we need to get shots in the arm quickly, and the only way we're going to do that is build capacity. So we're going to continue to work with the municipal leaders, and then when we shift into regional centers, all the municipalities will play a role in that. I think they're prepared to do that based on the conversations I've had with them. So you're seeing the governor there now meeting uh, with a constituent here as he's going to make his way back to the SUV. I did also ask him about that Biden administration announcement yesterday regarding prioritizing teachers. That is something we have heard him push for now uh, for weeks. And he's always said that he's waited to make any type of policy change until he was sworn in. Well, that obviously has happened now today. He was asked about this, saying that there could be announcements or news on that front in a matter of days. Nothing immediately th at this point. We're going to continue to follow follow the governor as he's got uh, several more stops today, including another vaccination site and an executive order that's being signed. We'll keep you posted along the way. Live in Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.